Hey guys, this is Brego and today I am going to show you the best settings to get maximum FPS in Counter-Strike 2. First of all, launch Steam and go to Counter-Strike 2. Right click and select properties and then go to launch options and then type in high as I have done here. This will set the windows priority for Counter-Strike 2 highest in the task manager. After this, launch the game and I will see you there. So after you have launched the game, go to play and select practice and select all the options on the left hand side and select any map you want i am going to choose nuke after you have loaded into the map go to settings go to game and under the game tab enable developer console and set it to yes after that you can open the developer console by pressing tilt key on your keyboard then type in fps underscore max space zero what this will do is set the maximum fps cap of the game to unlimited so we can maximize the fps gains of our game after you have set the maximum fps cap to unlimited go to steam overlay and then go to set settings and then in game tab and then set the fps counter top left and I use the high contrast color, it's your choice if you want to use it or not. This will show the maximum FPS you're getting on the left hand side left hand side of your screen on top left. As you can see right now I'm getting 200 FPS on an average and we will see what FPS I get after we have changed all the settings. Now go to settings and then go to video. First of all Keep your resolution the same resolution as your monitor, the native resolution or your laptop screen. And display mode should always be on full screen as it gives the maximum op optimization for the game. Refresh rate should be maximum for your resolution. And then you have to go to advanced video settings. Uh, boost player contrast should be enabled as of now. If after further updates in game it reduces FPS, I will let you know. Vertical sync should always be disabled. And then after that, multi sampling anti aliasing mode. This can be set to CMAA2 if you have a very low end PC. Otherwise, you can do it 2x or 4x. Global shadow quality can be set to medium or high, whatever you desire. Model texture quality should be set to low if you have a low end pc texture fil texture filtering mode can be set to trilinear or bilinear shader details should be low particle details should be low ambient occlusion this is a very important setting it drastically boosts fps if it is disabled but it reduces the visual quality also so it depends on you what quality you want. HDR or high dynamic range should always be on performance. And this is FSR, Fidelity FX Super Resolution. It is like DLSS, but it is for all GPUs, AMD or Nvidia or Intel. If you want best visual quality, it should always be disabled. But if you want more FPS, then you can set it according to yourself like now i will set it to quality and then i will check my fps as you can see i have gained almost around 10 fps on the maximum fps counter and now i will set the fsr to performance after i have set fsr to performance you can see that it almost remains the same so I do not favor performance because of the loss of visual quality in the game so you can either set it to quality or keep it disabled it's up to you Nvidia reflex low latency should be kept on enabled at least as it gives precise shots in the game and it is recommended and if you have a good GPU, you can set it to enable plus boost. Right now you can see I have set everything at the lowest settings possible. 
and FSR is disabled and ref NVIDIA reflex is enabled not enabled plus boost now you see my FPS is around 220 and 225 now if I set the FSR to performance you can see that it stays around 230 almost like it's almost the same so I would recommend that you keep FSR off or, or at least on quality after you have find the maximum FPS setting then you can press the tilt key again to open console and set the maximum FPS at the desired value like I am going to set it at 165 as it is my moni monitor's refresh rate now see it will always stay at 165 or below it what I would recommend always playing at FPS max unless you are getting screen tearing because it will help you a lot in the competitive scenario for people who are using an NVIDIA GPU go to taskbar and go to NVIDIA control panel then go to manage 3D settings and then, then go to program settings select CS2 from the drop down menu or add it from the option on the right hand side then go to power management mode and select prefer maximum performance this is the main setting that needs to be changed in the nvidia control panel one more setting which you can change is go to anti-aliasing mode and keep it to application controlled if it is not already apply and then that's it for NVIDIA users. For people who are using an AMD CPU or AMD GPU, right click on your desktop and go to AMD Adrenaline Software. Then go to Settings, go to Graphics, keep Radeon Super Resolution disabled, Radeon Anti Lag should always be enabled, Radeon Chill should also be disabled. Radeon Boost is also disabled. Radeon Image Sharpening can be enabled if, if you want visual quality as it doesn't affect FPS that much. That is it for AMD users also. If you are getting micro stutters while playing the game, one trick you can do is go to Developer Console, Engine, Underscore, Low, Underscore, Latency underscore sleep underscore after underscore line underscore tick and set it to true if this fixes your issues and you can use this option but the problem with this option is that you have to type in every time you start a game every time you start the game as it is set to false by default you can run an auto exec if you have so it gets typed in every time you launch the game one basic mistake that everyone makes please play the game when plugged into your charger otherwise it will cap the fps at 60 most of the times or reduce the fps to 30 also that is a common thing that you should keep in mind when always playing on a laptop after all the things I have told you, if you are still facing bad FPS or micro stutter issues, you can try using Vulkan to launch your game. Go to Counter Strike 2, go to Properties, then add in hyphen Vulkan and then close this. Now if you launch the game, it will open using the Vulkan API and not the default one which I think is the OpenGL. If you, if you get more FPS in this mode, you can use it and have fun playing CS2. If not, then you can disable it and use the other settings that I have told you. And lastly, if you can't fix your FPS even after doing all the things I have told you, 
the this is the list i can provide that can help with the issues you can use these lists and search on youtube for how to do these things my most important tip on this one would be disabling the game bar as it uh, destroys the fps on many games and i have it disabled myself so guys thank you for watching and please like share and subscribe if you like my content peace out